In this video, we'll learn the difference between series and parallel connections based on the configuration of the secondary coils. In this example, we have two single-phase transformers with a secondary rating of 120-240 volts. To find out how the secondary coils are configured inside the tank, use the continuity test on a voltmeter or take the lid off and do a physical inspection. A typical 120-240 volt single-phase transformer has two coils of 120 volts each that can be connected in series or in parallel. When the two secondary coils inside the tank are connected in series, the secondary voltage will be 120-240 volts. For series-connected coils, you'll run two hot legs in a neutral to supply 120-240 volts. This is used for delta secondary connections. When the two secondary coils are connected parallel, the secondary voltage will be 120 volts. For parallel connected coils, you'll run a single hot leg from the X1 bushing and a neutral to supply 120 volts. This is used for Y secondary connections. For Y secondary connections, the secondary coils must be paralleled to utilize the full KVA. Let's say each of these transformers are rated at 10 KVA. If they are not parallel, the proper voltage could still be delivered, but the bank's KVA rating would be cut in half. Many utilities allow line workers and internal departments specialized in handling transformers to parallel the secondary coils. If you are ever required, here's how parallel coils are configured. First, look for the stamps or tags on each end of the coil. They should be labeled A, B, C, and D. A and C connect to one secondary bushing, and B and D connect to another. Use the phrase alley cat, bad dog to remember the stamp or tag pairings. It's industry standard for the X2 to serve as the neutral, so either connection should connect to the X2 bushing. However, some companies do connect the X1 and X3, so always confirm which secondary bushings your company prefers. So, what did we learn? When the two secondary coils are connected in series, the secondary voltage will be 120-240 volts. This is used for delta secondary connections. When the two secondary coils are connected parallel, the secondary voltage will be 120 volts. This is used for Y secondary connections. Use the phrase alley cat bad dog to remember the stamp or tag pairings when paralleling secondary coils. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.